Yeah, we're staying with football and still with Jamaica football. This time, the Jamaica Premier League. The 2023-24 Ray Nevue JPL season got off to a competitive start on Sunday. There were three tightly contested games, while Jerome Waits typically produced the most impressive scoreline, uh, they winning over Waterhouse. Let's have a roundup of those results that we saw on Sunday. Lime Hall, the newcomers, Nilo with Montego Bay United, the former champions. Mount Pleasant, the reigning champions, 1-0 over seven-time champions. Portmore United, typically 3-0 over Waterhouse, uh, Humberland 1-0 over Treasure Beach, also first-timers in the Premier League Treasure Beach. Coming up this evening, live on Sportsmax 2, Malines United against Bear United and Arnett Gardens against John Beholden. And um, uh, anything stood out uh, for you, Mariah and uh, Ricardo, on opening day one? Yeah, for me, it would be the Tivoli Waterhouse match, um, that 3-0 win. I'm happy to see Jere Jerome Waith back in the JPL. He's not a stranger because I was doing my research, of course, and recognized that he spent 20 years in the JPL uh, coaching for Annette Gardens. With them, he won four JPL titles, Premier yeah. League titles. So, top stuff for him, and I'm looking forward now to see what he does with Tivoli Gardens because they always say if you have a top class coach, you have a man at the helm like Pep Guardiola who knows how to win titles, then we're in for a treat. I also paid close attention to the newly promoted teams. For me, not the best start, but it wasn't rocky, it wasn't a rotten performance. So, for me, that's also good. First match, first match week, so you know, we'll keep looking on. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you brought up Jerome Waite. And by the way, Mariah, Jerome Waite, um, who has coached Arnett Gardens, as you pointed out, to so much success and going across the Tivoli Gardens. Um, Lance, correct me if I'm wrong here, but that is almost like moving from Manchester City to Manchester United. <laughs> is it? Kind of, because as I referenced a couple of weeks ago when the launch was done, um, the, the history uh, politically between Tivoli Gardens and Arnett Gardens is one of animosity and acrimony um, being divided in political parties. Arnett Gardens, People's National Party, Tivoli Gardens, Jamaica Labour Party. <laughs> so, you know, 30, 40 years ago, this would never happen. You would never have an Arnett Gardens man moving across the coach uh, Tivoli so Gardens. Does this mean that the rift has gotten better? Uh, the country has matured, <laughs> uh, and, 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 and football has done a good job in diluting some of this sort of um, acrimony. And um, I, I get the impression that Jerome Waite, as good a coach as he is, is respected by the Tivoli hierarchy. Uh, enough to give him the job. Yeah, very much the case and a brilliant start for them yesterday, Lance and Mariah. One of the things, incidentally though, I found interesting is that um, Jerome Waite was not on the sidelines for that match. He was sitting in the stands and when he was questioned about it, he said that he has been trying to impress upon the Tivoli Gardens fraternity the need for a statistician. And because he didn't have one, he decided he would sit in the stands and do the statistical work and then went with the team at halftime and had a conversation with them and passed on what he had seen um, to the coach who was on the touchline. So I found that rather interesting. No, but he's onto something because he, if he as a coach, Ricardo, believes that the stats are so key in getting the results and he's not getting what he wants, he's going to do what he has to do and clearly it worked. Yeah, listen, don't worry. Um, Jerome, if you have enough money, I could come on as a statistician for you. Don't, don't worry. And who will do the commentary for the matches that you're assigned to? Well, there are he, enough he, commentators he, he, are wrong, he, but clearly he, he we're short do, on statisticians. He doesn't do JPL <laughs> matches. His issue would be uh, getting away from his tennis matches that he has on weekends. Well, he's injured. To, to tell, so. tell Jer Jerome Wade out, Jer so that would be a problem. <laughs> but typically, they haven't won a Premier League title in over 10 years. Yeah. And I think they have a good young team. Looking at how they performed last year, their matches were a little inconsistent. But they have some young players in their late teens, early 20s, uh, blending with older players. And I think they have some quality in their roster. And we'll just look to see how well Jerome Waite can bring that out for them. And one thing you'll get with Jerome Waite as coach is that this Tivoli Gardens team will be fit and they will get fitter as the season goes on. Because that is just the way that Jerome Waite 
um, coaches. And I think you'll see some attractive football out of them as well, like we saw on opening day yesterday. I took a close look as well, Lance and Mariah, at the Lime Hall versus Montego Bay United. And I know it's early season and I have to be very careful of how I say these things. And I am in no way writing these two teams off. But when I watched them, I, I felt as if I was watching teams who are going to be in the lower half of the table um, for this campaign. Um, I, I just wasn't impressed with a lot of what I saw, but it's only the opening game, it's so game one. you never know what Look will happen going forward. Look at how Manchester United forward. started. Did you think they'll be in the lower end of the table at the end of the season? <laughs> yeah, so... Um, <laughs> 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 Can I point out quickly that a message just came in from Humberland coach Price, yes. who was pointing out that there was movement between Glenmore Admiral right. Bailey, Bailey from Arnett to Tivoli, yes. or okay. Tivoli to Arnett, whatever I, way. But I, I remember Glendon yeah. at Tivoli Gardens. I actually don't remember him at Arnett, but I'm I'm not as yeah, but experienced as yourself yeah, and I, Andrew I, Price. I, I, two things I would want to say that had happened in the period where we think that the acrimony between the two communities would not be as intense as it, w as it would have been yeah. from the 70s. And I wouldn't think that Admiral Bailey was as ingrained in either community as Jerome Waite was okay. with Arnett Gardens because he was there from Charlie Smith straight through to yeah. Arnett Gardens and that was from in the 80s. Oh, okay. By the way, quickly, do you realize that Montego Bay United with a Brazilian coach had four Brazilian players in their lineup for that match against Lime Hall um, yesterday? Who was it for? I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't recognize it was four, but I knew there was two at least, four. including the goalkeeper. Including the yeah. goalkeeper. Yeah. Um, but I wonder if it is <laughs> a microcosm of Brazilian football at the moment because the, the, the attacking flair and quality was, was just absent. But, but Brazil are ranked number two in the world at the moment? Three? I tell mean, they aren't World Cup champions. But tell that to Uruguay. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, good one. All right, Mount Pleasant, they started their JPL campaign with a 1-0 win. Yeah. So good stuff for them as well. I think they will continue where they left off last season. Yeah, um, a very strong roster, as they usually have. One of Mount Pleasant's strengths is the quality and depth in their roster. And, um, you know, you have outstanding players coming off the bench for them. Um, Gawain Austin, who played for Portmore before, scoring for them yesterday so he scored against his former club um uh, so you know um i think mount pleasant made a decent start and let's see what happens because some of the players that were listed on their roster um pre-season we didn't even see them on the bench yesterday including yeah. the two uh trini teenagers <laughs> who, are, who i'm anxious to see so yeah. a long season ahead of us by the way tomorrow guys we need to give our top four teams for the jpl we do this for the EPL and we do it for La Liga. Tomorrow we need to give our top four teams for the JPL. No, I need a few days. You always give Lance extra time. Can I get some extra time? No. <laughs> yes, I'm Break taking time. it. Break time now, so I'm starting now. <laughs>